uh, this is our main kitchen. We have two kitchens here at the boathouse. Uh, this one uh, contains about almost 5,000 square feet, so this kitchen is larger than a lot of restaurants here in Cincinnati. We have three production lines on the front. This is our chef, Hollywood. Hey, nice to meet How are you? How are you, sir? Nice, nice to meet you. Hardest working man in, uh, in the United States. Chef Hollywood. Yeah, Scott Acton. Oh, okay. That's his nickname from chef school. What's Chef Hollywood what, up to here? What's he working well, on? Well, he's getting chef started. What are you doing over there? I you know. We've uh, we mixed up the mac and I'm panning it up and getting ready to label it with the date and the expiration date on it. What, what, what is that? It's macaroni, macaroni and cheese. cheese. We go through about 16 pans of those on a Saturday night. The week of Valentine's, I made 120 gallons of cheddar cheese sauce for macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I used to like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> the greatest compliment that Montgomery has ever had, and this is about eight or nine years ago, we had a, uh, an inspector from the Cincinnati Board of Health call and ask if he could bring eight new inspectors that they hired to show them our kitchen. And I said, why would you want to do that? And he said, because your kitchen is how they should all look. And I said, you know, you guys really do a nice job. We appreciate it. But I said, we answer to a higher authority than you. And he goes, oh, who's that? And I said, my mother comes to here every day with a white glove, and this place better be spotless. So we don't see mom as much as she used to. She is at the Montgomery location. She's 87 now. She's at the Montgomery location four days a week. Uh, but that's how we grew up. I'll be with the company 50 years this May. So that's been pretty well ingrained uh, in, our, in our culture here at Montgomery Inn.